I'm here today at RAF Scythrop in Gloucestershire, um, a Second World War satellite airfield. Um, it, it did three grass runways, um, concrete perimeter track as well as a number of blister hangers, a T1 hangar um, and refuelling facilities. Um, but what's most interesting is what's left and it's, um, it's, it's the battle headquarters and uh, an unusual pillbox. Uh, this little compound um, sits just to the west of the airfield um, with the, the grass runways being behind me. Um, it's, it, it's brick, um, it essentially looks like it's been camouflaged um, to be some sort of farm complex, um, which they may be able to get away with with the grass runways. Um, but rather unique um, is this double Norcon um, pillbox, of which there are two in the airfield, there's one at the far corner as well. Um, made from precast pre um, semicircular um, drums. This one's been reinforced at the bottom with brick and presumably reinforced concrete inside. Um, it has a reinforced concrete cap which has been put on it. Um, so you can, you can fight inwards towards what would have been the battle headquarters um, or then inside one of these little um, pillboxes with views outside. Yeah, rather rather interesting. They have um, seats, um, little, little steps on the inside, which which would also have have um, increased the strength. Uh, lower down. Um, yeah, and I'm, I'm not sure if there's anywhere else um, really in the country that I've I've seen these. These are the first ones I've come across. Um, but I'm sure there are others that exist. Um, what is interesting, if I, if I take you back inside again, um, is this text here, um, so number of a soldier, um, and they say they're from the 30th Heavy Anti-Aircraft, um, not quite sure, Regiment REGT, um, yeah, so perhaps the, there was a Heavy Anti-Aircraft Regiment um, tasked with the defence of the airfield. Uh, coming onto the inside, and this, this may not have been its original location, um, but there's a, a small reinforced concrete precast again, um, light anti-aircraft position. I, I, can, I can presume that the uh, the, the steel eyelets um, cast into the side of it were for were for lifting and manoeuvring it. Um, yeah, but but it would likely have had a, a pillar a pillar a, a steel post uh, or pillar up the centre, then just with a with a brain, um, possibly a Lewis gun. Mounted on top for um, for sort of close combat light anti aircraft. Coming up to the um, to what has been referred to online as the as the battle headquarters. Um, the most notable, interesting feature about this is, and you may not be able to see it in this view, um, but right up at the top there um, is a is a is a precast concrete plaque, if you like, um, blue circle cement. Um, or crescent, blue circle crescent with WH in it. Um, and if you look at, at most of the most of the stones and most of the building materials and the bricks around here, they all are um, cement. Which which sort of makes me wonder what what the what the role of blue circle was. Was this was this some some sort of experimental um, site where they were um, they were using various techniques to. Um, yeah, to, to build precast, um, precast concrete blocks and so on. Um, if you come inside, what presumably was intended to be um, some sort of uh, farmhouse or looked like some sort of farmhouse, um, you can see it's 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 very strong. It is it is steel girders running throughout. Um, in this room in particular, there's a there's a black border along the um, along the bottom with a number of plinths, little concrete plinths. Um, but presumably, it would have had. Um, some sort of equipment on them. Uh, the room next door, um, similar to the concrete, the, the I beams run run across the top. Uh, you can see up into the ceiling. Um, but most interestingly down here, um, not sure whether you can see in, but um, it looks like possibly ten feet deep um, tank 
whether that was for, for water um, or such like, or, or fuel perhaps, um, and up against the, the, the wall there are some, um, some pipes, as I say, either, either for, for fuel or water. Um, so whether this was, whether this was a, a camouflage generator house um, that could have maintained power um, in the event of, a, um, of an attack, there are no other um, sort of defensive looking features around the around the building itself. If, if it was indeed a, a battle headquarters, I would, I would probably have imagined some loopholes, um, some sort of observation cupola um, up on top. Um, yeah, certainly a very, very interesting, very interesting building here. Um, and that, that wall continues all around this compound. Um, as I say, what, you know, whether that was, what was specifically for, for defence, um, or rather, it was camouflaged to make it look like a to make it look like a farmhouse. If we just go over to the other side of the site, um, there are three concrete uh, bases, probably for, for um, something like a, a prefabricated Nissan hut. Um, yeah, so here we are on them here. Yeah, so there are three along there: um, one to my right, one to my left, and then I'm, I'm standing on the central one. And yeah, yeah, probably accommodation offices, flying offices. Um, there is a control tower mentioned online. Um, I'm not sure whether this has been um, been demolished. If it if it was here at all, um, I'm not sure where that would have been yet. Um, maybe I can find some plans. Um, yeah, and in the in the walls, the various various entrances and exits, all the steel um, steel pins for, for gates. Um, yeah, so that's it. That's RAF Southrop.